I remember in college, my wife and two other ladies got up to sing like they always did in the bus division meeting, and they got up to sing, and that wasn't abnormal. But Norm Kirkwood getting up to sing with them had us in tears before they ever said a word. So he stood there the entire song, and every time they would come to the new verse, he put his mic up. Norm's going to sing. We want it to fall over. And then he put his mic back down. A few weeks ago, Brother Coffey was Norm Kirkwood. You know a definition of a bad joke is one you have to explain. <laughs> you all didn't have my memories. You couldn't see Norm Kirkwood standing in front of the bus division meeting. Brother Coffey was the sacrificial lamb. He got the, and I didn't get to introduce it because the order of service went out of whack. So, the moral of the story is a good skit is nothing more than an illustration. It brings your attention. Humor, use, use humor sometimes to bring attention to a subject matter and to drive it home. So that's what we want to try to do real quick. So I brought some props. And I have some volunteers that are going to help me, and then I have one sacrificial lamb. He's awesome. He doesn't know about it yet. Brother Mark, come on up here. <laughs> Okay, hey, I've had some help here, Brother Mark. You've had some help because you are, for the next few minutes, you are the baker. Okay? Now, what does a baker have to wear, class? Okay, class, take out your phones. Now, we've also had some help from Mr. John. Parents, 29 cent day old. No joke, 29 cents with your day old bread. Now, we're going to have you, you're the baker. So you just made this bread. And we have some volunteers over here. When you walk into Walmart and they're selling Girl Scout cookies in front of Walmart, what's our natural reaction? Now, some of us, if they have thin mints or the peanut butter, it is game on. I don't care how much it costs. But the natural reaction is what you're about to see. Ladies, come on ahead. Brother Mark, is there anything wrong with your bread? No. Okay, I want you to offer some to these young ladies. ladies Sell it to them. Did you ladies like to buy this bread for me? just freshly baked this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess I'll have to just put it back. You're going to have to sell it a little better. Than that. like, That's good bread. It is real. Let, let me tell you about this bread. This is fresh flour. Water. Just freshly made this morning. Freshly baked out of these hard working hands. Louder. 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 <laughs> tell me about your apron. This apron. You know, I went to this college. <laughs> so I could make this bread just for people like you. Now, oh, please, you have to try this bread. I'm sorry, I'm just saving your support. All right. You did, you did well. Let's try this next one. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Now, let's get him some bread. Because there's a lot of bread here.
All right. Have a good one. You did well. <laughs> you did very well. It's hard to stop. Let me, let me read you something here. This is a good illustration, and that's why we do this. But let me read you something. In Matthew, it says that Jesus is the bread of life. And that those who eat it, and I can't read it because it went away on my phone. <laughs> New phone. Five and a half hours of spring yesterday. But, you know, um, when people eat this bread, the Bible says they never hunger again. But you know what? It's oftentimes hard to sell. Now, if any of us men and kids were honest, thanks, Brother Mark. If we were honest, why do we go to Costco? Be honest. Thank you. Free samples. And why do they give free samples away? Brother Mark, I want you to know you're going to be on social media. Okay, I'm just saying. Um, with, the, with that on. Um, they give free samples away that cost them money. Why? Because they want you to do what? Try it. And then if you try it, you're going to buy it. Why do we have a Come Hungry Sunday? Because we want them to try it. If I were to take this loaf of bread and there's a big sign that's up here on Sunday morning that says there's no eating in the sanctuary, I told a few moms, I'm going to call your kids up to eat some bread in the church. Moms, I'm not doing it because you can't eat in church. <laughs> but I'm not going to call the kids up. But if I did, if I said, kids, come on up and eat the bread, guess what? They'd line up. And frankly, some of you men would too, if you're honest. But the reality is, when we sat in that restaurant a few weeks ago, and we talked with uh, Brother Dan from Silvery Lane, coincidentally, the reason behind all this campaign and the way this thing all came to birth was because we all need it, <coughs> period. So when you invite people, you're going to get those that are hungry. I've asked more people to church in three weeks. It's unbelievable. Some of them just are hungry. Some of them don't want to, if you will, call the bread religion, church, etc. Now I don't need it, Brother Tory. That's what you're going to hear. Keep asking because there are going to be people who are hungry. So there's nothing wrong with the bread. Okay. The illustration is to get our attention on what we're trying to do, and that is just to get people to come try it. Because if they try it, you never know. Dale, or some people, it's Dale, right? Carl. 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 I knew I did that wrong. Carl. <coughs> Are some people going to try it? Yes. That's it. But you got to come. So invite somebody to come with you. Go get the neighbor. Ask somebody. Go out of your comfort zone. Put a Michigan apron on. Do what you got to do. Get them to come to church. And 29 cents at Jimmy John's. <laughs>